My iPhone 6 still works great in 2020, considering how long ago it's been released. However, it would be very nice if I could get wider shots and closer shots without having to break the bank to buy the newer model. So here is a tool which I thought might help. This costs 518 Philippine pesos, and that's around $10.56 US. I ordered this on July 30th, 2020, and it arrived August 7th, 2020. That's the same day that I paid it because the cash on delivery option was available. So in total, it took eight calendar days for me to receive this. All right, so that's it. Now, it came in the standard um, plastic with the bubble wrap uh, lining inside. I'll go ahead and carefully cut the seams of this plastic so we can see it all together. Okay, and when I take it out, it says phone lens. It comes in a Ziploc bag. Now let me just take it out. Okay. Phone lens. Ooh, what is this? Let me just cut this right away. Something tells me this is trouble. There you go. All right. So it looks sturdy. It has, um, let me try to put that in focus. Look at that. It has a strong material feel to it. And the zipper. I like the color, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's unzip so we can see what's inside. Okay, there it is. First, let's see what this... So I think this is what I'm supposed to use to clean the lens. Okay. And then, I think this is the instruction manual. Okay, it has the ma macro lens, the tele lens, fisheye lens, CPL polarizer lens, starlight filters. Oh. Okay. I'll go ahead and give this a quick read later. What else is inside? So this is the lens itself. Um, it's in a foam, so it's packaged like this. This is a, what material is this? Is this a foam-like? This is the lens, or these are the lens rather. It's quite heavy. Okay. So this one is made of plastic, and this one is some metal-like. I suppose. Let's examine the individual components. So this plastic thing, I think this is supposed to be the clip that is going to secure the lens in place. Look at that. So the instruction says it's supposed to have a screw, but for some reason what I received does not. So I guess I just have to figure this out. And now the lens. So. It has quite some weight into it. it said 0 0.45 times super wide angle lens macro. And then when I remove this, hold on. this is it. Look at that. Uh huh. Okay. And does this get removed? Oh yes, it does. What happens? I'm turning it counterclockwise. And when I remove it, this is revealed. Some kind of a magnifying lens. I'm guessing this is the fisheye. Okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna see how this all works out. Oh, and I also noticed that this entirely could be removed. God, I hate that sound. So, yeah, I hate that sound. Okay. So, removing it would reveal this and this. So, let's start with this. Let me give it in focus. 
it's not focusing there we go. i'm not sure what it's supposed to do let me try removing this hold on Ooh. i'm so sorry but i hate that sound okay so this is what it does how about the reverse side and then this one I think this is the ma uh, macro thingy that's what it does and on the reverse side maybe this is the fish eye I should say that this is my first time working with lenses so forgive me and my noviceness okay not to figure out how this works. Okay, so I know I said I'd read the instructions earlier, but I don't have time for that. Instead, I'll just try on the individual lenses. Um, if you would remember, there's like, uh, you can separate them into two separate lenses. I'll show it to you one more time. So it's this smaller one and this bigger one. And you could also try them on together. So I'll go ahead and try them on one at a time and then I'll try them together and see what difference it makes. All right. So anyway, I'll start with this um, smaller one, the one that says macro. I'm, again, I'm assuming this is the macro lens. I'm really sorry. I have no idea with the jargon. But the instructions book did say that this is perfect for jewelry so that's why i have this um cheap synthetic ring in front of you so as we speak i am just using my regular iphone 6 camera no fancy lenses yet and what i'll do is i'll take this plastic um clip and then i'll insert this lens there, this is the only way how it would get attached. So I'll go ahead and do that. Hold on. It's taking. Oops. Just have to make sure that it's tight and placed tightly. Okay. And now I'll put so this. So you are seeing my regular iPhone 6 camera. And now I will be using the macro lens, which is the smaller one. And I want you guys to be able to see the transition. That's why I won't stop filming. And I'll try to get it as centered as possible. And there. Now, I won't actually give justice to the macro lens by filming this way. So I have to bring this closer. And let's see if it makes a difference. And look at that. So the macro lens is good for super close-up shots that's why in the instruction book it says it's good for insects and jewelry now you can see why and you could also see how dirty my fingernails are there you are I see you macro lens like how can't I seriously on to the next one okay so that's it. Now, I'm sorry if for those of you who are eating, but let's try arm hair. Okay. Wow, look at that detail. Okay, I think I'm going to be using this a lot more. Though I should say that focusing, like getting the right focus is really tough. So it puts a sharp resolution to whatever is in the center. And it blurs the surrounding area. And that's how you get that prominence. Okay. So this is my iPhone 6 camera again. No fancy lenses. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to insert this bigger one here. And see what it does. And it actually is not working. I mean, it doesn't fit. Look at that doesn't fit it looks like it does but it's not attaching maybe it's not meant to be used on its own so I I swear I'm trying guys hold on maybe I'm not doing it right 
No matter how I put, try to position it, it just won't come together. All right, maybe it's not meant to be used on its own. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I guess I have no choice but to try it together with the smaller one then. Okay, I'll do that. All right, here it is. I'm about to put it on. This is what it looks like together with the smaller one. I'm about to put it on. I won't stop filming so you could see the transition. I'll try to get it as centered as possible. It's now centered. All right, now this is what I'm looking for. So just a heads up, I actually have a PSN art video coming up and that setup was particularly difficult to figure out. It took me an hour and a half just to figure it out. And this tool would just lessen that. I simply put on the lens and I suddenly have a wider angle. So I would give this a five out of five just because of how much time it saves me in those wide angle setups. Good job. Here are some photos that I took with the macro lenses on. They're gorgeous and look at that detail. As for the wide angle lenses, I'll showcase them in a future video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see more videos such as this, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.